Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, last night, if you were looking off to the south, you might saw a little bit of that lightning, though. We saw some of those showers and storms that moved through the southern parts of the Concho Valley closer towards Interstate 10. And again, that was really all the area that saw any of the beneficial rain. In fact, again, out towards uh, Sonora, picked up closer to an inch of rain, but again, might have been the only county to do so because, again, those showers really just skirted to the south of us, and it's now starting to see them move kind of off towards the southeast. In fact, out towards the Houston area in towards east Texas, moving towards Louisiana. Again, those showers kind of started out in south Texas and then drifted off towards the southeast, and they looked back behind it. Well, we saw mostly clear skies for much of the Concho Valley. In fact, kind of still seeing those clear skies. A fairly quiet rain radar as we kind of go in towards the evening hours have seen a little bit of cloud coverage during the afternoon hours start to see a little bit of that clouds start to develop especially during uh, close to about two to three in the afternoon some of those fair weather cumulus but again didn't last all that long we still have some that high pressure in place not super humid still could use higher humidity values though dew points in the low 50s right now temperatures into the mid 70s right now in downtown san angelo 76 degrees those winds out of the southeast nine miles per hour we're going to see those winds start to pick up kind of as we go in towards tomorrow evening that's going to kind of continue as we head in towards the weekend though temperatures for the most part into the 70s across the area 72 in brady as well as eden 74 out in Mertzen, el dorado also at 74 degrees so i've seen those pretty comfortable fall like temperatures that we've kind of been hoping for and hopefully you're kind of getting out there and making the most of it, enjoying these comfortable temperatures. As we go into the evening hours, we'll continue to see those clouds decrease. Temperatures cooling back down into the mid-50s. So still staying a little bit warmer for those overnight lows, dropping down to 56 and winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour with mostly clear skies. Then we'll see those winds really start to pick up for us tomorrow. Still out of the south, but start to get 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we're going to continue to ramp up those winds as we finish up the week. We'll still see, again, as the winds go, so do the temperatures. Southerly winds, we'll start to see those temperatures climb up into the upper 70s. Even can see some low 80s as we finish up the week. We'll see a little bit more of that partly cloudy skies during the afternoon hours. but. Really, really won't start picking up until Thursday. That's when we see the increase in that cloud coverage as well. Winds will start to increase as well going into late Wednesday for Thursday as well. And seeing some of those gusts get up to 20 miles per hour, especially uh, in our western counties where we see a little bit breezier conditions out towards Ozona as well as Big Lake. Keeping an eye on our moisture tracker, again, we see as we get towards Friday, we see most of the moisture just off towards the east, and unfortunately, that cuts down our rain chances as we get in towards the end of the week. So again, that's where it's going to be seeing that better humidity, better moisture for the arrival of that frontal system for it to work with. And so as a result, we see those rain chances actually diminishing just a little bit, though we could see some rain chances kind of starting to develop on Friday. It really starts to take off as you get into that better moisture just off towards the east. So any rain chances that we do see here in the Concho Valley, it's going to be better in our eastern counties and the further west. You start to see those rain chances kind of diminishing. So good news for those looking forward to those football games on Friday evening. And then as we get into Saturday, just in time for your Veterans Day parade in San Angelo. Again, we'll be seeing that those showers and storms move well off towards the east. And again, the cooler temperatures as well as the high pressure rebuilds back in towards our area. Remember the last two systems, we actually had a pretty good bullseye over us for those rain totals. This time it's off towards the east out along the Texarkana area. So again, not expecting a heavy downpour, though we could see a few sprinkles Again, some beneficial rain, but not nearly as uh, great of a rain chance that we saw earlier in the week. We'll still see the cooler temperatures back behind that frontal system as we drop back down into the 70s. And it's a quick warm-up into the 80s heading in towards Voting Tuesday.